So what is the 16 cylinders of high performance? When we talk about high performance, we're talking about either you're a leader or a manager. Is there a difference between a manager that is not a leader and a leader? Is there a difference? So it falls in this area. There are four areas that make a difference in a company. You'll want to really focus on this. These four areas of your body and your mind. There's three cylinders of the 16 in body, three cylinders in mind. So think about that. And then if you're looking at it from a standpoint of where the highest performance, you'll find it here, in heart and passion, which is spirit. So if you were to look at it that way in your company, do most of the people in your company have tremendous heart and spirit that they're willing to have the initiative to be successful and help you to be successful. If you don't have that high heart and spirit at five and five, and you're running at a six cylinder company when you should be at a 16 cylinder company, it's no wonder it's not doing as well as it could be. And your team, the goal of team, is to have everyone feel like they're in a place that they're making a difference. They're making a difference. And when you feel like you're making a difference, you put your heart, you put your spirit, you put your passion in it. Because people as managers versus leaders, body is about discipline and mind is about resourcefulness. So we want people in our organization that get focused on discipline and resourcefulness and they make great managers. But passion and purpose is what makes great leaders. What makes great leaders, everyone? <laughs> how passionate are you, because we're all leaders, how passionate are you about success in the business you represent or work with as a team member or owner? How passionate are you about that? How clear are you of the purpose that your company has and the difference it makes and what difference you make as a result being a part of that organization? Is your team like this, building your team, most employees are motivated, energetic, committed, enthusiastic, and loyal. Does that sound like your team? Except for the eight hours they work for you. <laughs> now does that sound like your team, right? So the key is, as Tom Peters said, is that you have to build in your organization passion and purpose. Passion and purpose brings about energy. What's passion and purpose bring about? Energy. You see, you have to have positive energy in an organization to be successful. If you have negative energy, you see it every moment of every day.